Good morning. Welcome back to the CSI Studios. It's great to have you with us once again. I'm Dave, your host, and I will just bring you up to speed with our latest headline. It was discovered in the week and reported on other news outlets that a state-of-the-art video camera recording device was found during an archaeological dig in Ireland. The archaeologists were trying to uncover artefacts from the 5th century and have been completely baffled as to finding this camera and amongst the items there. They do believe that it may give them some new insight into the origin, perhaps, of self-portraits, uh, otherwise known as selfies, today. However, with this news aside, let's look at our main topic. We're going to be looking into the life and work of Lord Shaftesbury as we continue our interviews uh, men and women throughout history who have made life different and better for us today. Now, Lord Shaftesbury uh, particularly worked with uh, young children, trying to keep them out of the workhouses and to give them an education. I'll say no more. We'll be looking at that in a few moments in the interview. What is of concern is we haven't yet found our top investigator, Miss Anna Meacham. She has still been unsighted. She hasn't turned up in the studios and we are still looking for her. Uh, I wonder, could we just cut to the time lapse? Is it possible to go to Patrick and see if she's turned up in the time lapse downstairs? Hi, uh, I think I'm late, sorry. Are you a technician? That's right. Ah, there's a Jew. I'm such a fan of the show. You know, I watch it every time, every time, every Sunday. Every yeah. Sunday. Ah, oh, it's amazing. I'm yeah, well. so privileged to have you in my, in my uh, studio here. Thanks. Um, sorry, do you like you? Probably not. I'm quite new. New in the studio, you know what I mean? What's your name? Patrick. Patrick. That's Patrick right. is in from Ireland. Of course I'm from Ireland. Can't you tell by the accent? Are you sure I don't know you? No, I'm pretty sure. Well, okay. Um, anyway, um, can I use it? Oh, oh, the new time machine? Of course you can. I bet it's better than those uh, time flights. Yeah, I won't be missing with it. Yeah. What do you use? Uh, what, what year do you want to go to? 1845, please. I can just do that. There you go. You just step in there. Thank you. of machinery in here, mm -hmm. dangerous and noisy ones, um, run by children. Children? Really? Mm -hmm. How young are we talking? Well, we're talking around uh, four or five, that's the youngest I've seen anyway in this Victorian era, it's very terrible. Um, people are so poor around here, they're being forced to work in these horrible conditions up chimneys, down mines, and in these textile factories. Well, how do they fit that in around school? School? Education for the rich people. We, it's, it's hardly an option for these younger kids. Um, families feel like they have no choice but to force their children to work in these terrible conditions for very little pay. Uh, that genuinely is quite shocking. Someone ought to do something about it. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. It started when I was uh, younger, um, around 10 or 12 years ago. I read a report on the, the working conditions of children, and I was um, shocked, as, as you rightly said, um, and ever since then I've been campaigning to improve their conditions. Um, when I became an MP, and that's when I was 25, Impressive. Thank you. Um, ever since then I've been trying to use my influence to improve the conditions. You, you keep saying trying, what do you mean by that? Well, for some people, I'm um, not mentioning any names, um, find it rather hard to accept that this is terrible working conditions, but they make so much money out of it. Um, anyway, um, so yes, I, I am trying to do that. We have had some victories, some small victories. For example, in 1834, um, we managed to pass a law that um, stopped children under the age of nine from working in textile factories. Uh, Sally here used to used to work in a factory just like this one. Ah, Sally. It's uh, nice to see you. How are you? I mean, I'm all right, thank you. So, what was it like working in a factory like this? 
it was awful. It was so awful. I, I mean, I had to like get into work so early. I think it was still dark, and I spent all day working with this machinery, trying to keep myself awake so I wouldn't injure myself. Mm. I just absolutely hated it. All of us were so grateful when the law changed. Oh, it does sound awful. Um, what do you do with yourself when the law was passed? I was so fortunate. I got to go to school. Yeah. Oh, anyway, 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 I'll explain. Um, I'm part of the Ragged Schools Union. Uh, and this is a thing that mm. we've set up to uh, help people like Sally um, yeah, that one, um, be able to get an education. We, we teach them uh, writing, reading, arithmetic and, most importantly, Bible study. Because it's no good getting these people out of work if we're not going to teach them the most important thing in life, which is about Jesus. Right, okay, so again, your faith is, is a massive motivating factor in this. That's right. Well, when I was uh, younger, in boarding school, uh, the housemaid used to teach me uh, stories from the Bible. Uh, that, that's when I learned the verse, defend the weak and the fatherless, uphold the cause of the poor and oppressed. And that is what I am trying to do. That is really impressive. I know coming from the future that you've, there's a lot more to come from you than everyone else. Dave, have you got any comments? No, it's been an honour to meet you, Lord Shaftesbury. And with all the work that you've been doing, please keep up that good work. Anna, is there anything else that you need before returning home? I think we've covered everything, haven't we? OK. Well, we'll seek to get you home now and get you ready for that trip back. Thank you so much for having me. So there we go. That almost wraps up our CSI this morning. Thinking about the life and the work of Lord Shaftesbury. Hadn't yet finished that work at the time we interviewed him so much more that he was still to do. But we know that he made so many changes. They're using again his influence as a politician and in Parliament to change laws to get children out of those long days, 10 plus hours, workhouse conditions, early deaths, diseases, up the chimneys, down the coal mines. Terrible, terrible life. Boys and girls, imagine if that was you all those years ago. We have our lockdown conditions. It's a difficult environment right now, being nice to our brothers and our sisters and our mums and our dads. But, you know, how much harder would it have been to get up before the crack of dawn, having to put on the same raggedy old clothes and go to the workhouse, noisy, dirty, smelly, dangerous, uh, where working conditions were not safe. Imagine how much worse it would have been for you then. And thanks to people like Lord Shaftesbury and his love for Jesus and wanting to make this world better, people like him were able to change the law and make it so that you have the education that you have today. And you might be doing that at home. It might be frustrating. It's not perfect. Schools are starting slowly to come back in again and you're going to start to see your friends again. But you know what? You have those benefits. You have those privileges because of people like Lord Shaftesbury. Well, we're going to cut over to the CSI Music Studios and we're going to look to see what chorus they've got that we can sing today in the light of all these things that we've learned. So, Dave, over to you in the Music Studio. Hey guys, welcome back to the Music Studio and yeah, we've got a chorus for you today. We were thinking about the interview and what Lord Shaftesbury said about his housemaid reading him the Bible stories and he was so impressed with the love of Jesus that he wanted it for himself and to share it with others. So the chorus we're going to play today is Jesus' love is very wonderful. It's an old Sunday school chorus that we've dug out from the archives. You may not know it. We're going to sing the chorus through twice. The words, as usual, will be up on the screen. And maybe even just rewind it and play it back again if you want to learn a new chorus. So here we go. <laughs> Jesus' love is very wonderful, Jesus' love is very wonderful, Jesus' love is very wonderful, oh, wonderful love. So high, can't get over it, so low, can't get under it, so wide, can't get round it, oh, wonderful love. One more time. Jesus' love is very wonderful, Jesus' love is very wonderful, Jesus' love is 
very wonderful, oh wonderful love. So I can't get over it so low, can't get under it so why can't get round it, oh wonderful love. So there we go, we'll see you again next week. Till then, back to you in the main studio. Well, thanks for tuning in again to the CSI Studios. That about wraps up our time this morning. We'd love to see you next week, same time, to investigate the next person in our series, interviewing them and seeing how the Lord used them to make such a difference to the world around them. Still, Till then, stay safe, goodbye, and God bless.